Seamless payment is an experience that customer remember even long after checkout. It's a last friend where all the customer acquisition efforts transform into revenue and thus it's paramount that checkout builds the customer's confidence and can delight them further. Enters Just Pay Studio, an absolute no code and intuitive drag and drop checkout builder that can provide you with 360 degree control over all the aspects of the payment page design. Hi. I am Arjun and in this video, we'll design the payment page of an e-commerce website using the different options that are available on JustPay Studio. We'll see how we'll be able to design the payment page that blends beautifully with that of the merchant's design. So let's begin. To begin with, let's open JustPay Studio, which is available on the left hand side menu of the dashboard. I'm clicking on Studio. We'll be landing on a screen which is available only for the first time. So this is an assistance flow, which will help you create the first draft of the design. I'm clicking on start. So in this assistance flow, we'll be going through different steps, which will help you create the first draft. But before doing that, let's have a look into the website, which we have chosen. This is the website. You can have a note of the different colors, which has been used along with the themes, font, etc. Uh, having a note will help you later while designing. Now let's have a look at the mobile screen as well. Let's go back to the Just Pay Studio. So selecting a template is the first step as part of the design. So there are four options that are available, boxed, full width, combined, and accordion. Uh, the difference between each of these different templates are displayed on the right hand side. So as you can see for the box template, each payment option would be housed in different blocks and on clicking on any of the payment method, it will open a subsequent screen. Full width is similar to boxed in all aspects, except that the block would be spread end to end in this case. For the combined one, all of the payment method are housed in a single block and on clicking any particular one, it will open a subsequent screen. And for the accordion, there is no subsequent screen involved. Here you would be able to complete the payment on the same screen. Multiple factors go into while selecting the right template for the reference website, which we have chosen, uh, as you can see for the mobile view, full width would be the best suitable option for it. And so we'll be going with full width. So I'm clicking on full width and clicking on and proceeding. Next step is picking your style. So there are three options that are available, light mode, dark mode, and multicolor mode. You'll have to choose an option that rightly blends with your website or application. So for our reference website, since multiple colors are involved, we'll be going ahead with multi-color option. The next step involves setting the color for our payment page. So you need to set the hex code of the background color and the brand color here. If you have the color, the hex code handy, then you can key in directly. If you are not aware of it, there is a reference link available in the description. You can look into it on how to get the right hex code. For the reference website, Let's have a look on what are the different colors and what needs to be selected. So as you can see, we have two color purple and gray, uh, which are the primary colors and we can choose purple as the uh, primary or the brand color. And for the background color, we can choose a gray in color. To know the hex code of these, I am clicking on right click and then set, uh, clicking inspect using the arrow key, which is present here. You can go to the color, which you require. As you can see on screen, for the purple color, we have got a hex code. We'll be using the same color on our Just Pay Studio. So let me go back to the dashboard. So for the brand color, I am setting purple hex code. And for background color, I am setting the gray color. As you can see, as soon as we had set the colors, got reflected on the preview as well. I'm clicking on proceed. Next step involves choosing the right font. For the reference website, Roboto is the font that has been used. So I'll be choosing the same over here as well. There are 30 different font families that are available on Just Pay Studio. And in case if you still don't find the right font for you, we have got you covered as, uh, there as well. You can upload the custom font family using the option here. So once you have set the font, Let's proceed to the next step. This step involves setting the right icon type. So there are two options available, solid and line. 
let's look into the website to see what is the icon type which they have used and can choose a similar one over here looking into the website these are the icons they had used and this is line type so we'll choose a similar one for our payment page as well video next is input type so input type is where customer enters the different inputs related to the payments so there are three options that are available to see which is the right input type let's again go back to the website for reference in the website, I'm going to the contact section where input type may be there. Yes, as you can see on screen, uh, they have used an underline type and we'll choose the same on the studio. <clears throat> you can choose the input type that tightly blends your website or application. Next is the order summary. So order summary is a portion which comes on the top part of the payment page. This is the area where the customer would be able to see the order amount. So choosing the right layout will depend on the level of information you want to show to the customer. Uh, for example, if you want to give more context to the customer on what type of order he's placing, then layout one and layout two would be the best option where a description can be given on the order. And suppose if you want to extend the branding, then layout three would be the best option where the logo would come on the order summary. So for this example, we would go ahead with layout three. By default, just pay logo comes up. Uh, I'll explain how to change the logo later in this video. So we'll click on proceed to move to the next step. Add-ons comes as the last portion uh, of this initial setup. In the screen, you would be able to add any additional features which you would require. So since for our reference website, as it is a e-commerce website, I'm choosing EMI. You can explore the different options that are available here. And based on your requirement, you can select the additional features and click on proceed. So when we click proceed to launch, the initial draft of our payment page is getting ready. And as you can see the screen, it is ready and I'm clicking on get started. We are on the landing screen of Jespay Studio. So majorly there are two components, design and control. So coming to the design module, there are majorly three sections, themes, components, and desktop view. Under themes, uh, the basic changes are involved example like colors, typography, shadow, icons, content, etc., which we have done so far. And in the component section, it involves customization of individual entities. App bar customization is possible. Order summary, container, section header, list items, grid, button, links, input fields, search box, Offers, if you have chosen offers as an additional feature which you require, and the loader. Now let's go to these options to see how these works. So for the colors, these are the primary key and the background color which we, we had chosen during the assistance flow. There are further customization that can be done. For example, this is the default tile color which has been chosen. I feel that uh, white would be a better option. So I'm changing the hex code to that of white over here. As you can see, as soon as I have changed it, the same changes got reflected on our preview as well. Uh, next is uh, typography, where you can change the font sizes and even the font type which you had preset. Next, we'll go to app bar. So as you can see, for the alignment, we have two options that are available, left and centered. For the reference website, as you can see on the screen, um, uh, mostly it is left aligned, and thus we'll go for the option left on Jespay Studio as well. Next section is on order summary. We had already selected the one which is having a logo. Now let's see how we would be able to change the URL of, of the logo. So there is an option here called URL under left image. We need to enter the URL of the logo here to get it changed. So for the reference video, I have the URL handy. And I am pasting it over here. As you can see on the preview screen, the logo, the logo got changed. If you want to make slight modification in terms of the size and the positioning, you can do it from the options that are available here. Next, let's customize the buttons. Uh, there are two options that are available, intended and stretched. On the preview, you would be able to see the difference between how intended and stretched would be looking. So this is stretched and uh, this is intended. Uh, for our reference website, as you can see on screen, uh, it is majorly uh, looking like a stretched one and thus we'll be going with the stretched option. Uh, similarly, uh, right now, this is red in color. Uh, I think it is better to choose the primary color, hence we will key in the uh, hex code of the primary color. Sam51FFF. 
as you uh, as soon as we have keyed in the right uh, hex code it has got reflected on our uh, preview as well next go, let's go to the desktop view toggling from mobile to web view you would be able to see how uh, a preview of how the uh, website view would be as you can see jespay logo is present currently we need to change that now let's see how we will change the jespay logo on the desktop view as well so similar to what we had done for the mobile view we need to uh, copy paste the url of the logo to get the changes reflected over here so i'm going to the png url and then pasting it here as you can see the logo got changed right now so that is on the design part of jespay studio there are further cu customization that is possible you can definitely go through each option and see what option that suits best for you now let's go to the control section in the control section as you can see on screen the payment methods are displayed on the left hand side you would be able to order the different payment method based on the, your requirement and on the right hand side you can enable or disable the payment method so if i'm selecting cards you can see that there are further options available where you can enable or disable suppose if you want your customers to pay only through credit card you can disable the debit card option similarly you can do vice versa as well and if you have a use case of say mandates or subscription you need to keep the card mandates enabled for our reference website as it's an e-commerce uh, we'll see what all payment options are required here so i see uh, that twitpay may not be uh, a right suitable payment method here and i don't want to showcase to the customers and hence i am disabling the same you can go through the different options that are available and uh, based on your use case you can enable or disable the payment method now let's come back to how to uh, order the payment method so right now emi is kept on the top followed by cards and upi uh, for the user base which i am having or the reference website is having i feel upi would be the best suited payment method and hence i want to keep it on top so we'll just drag on upi and keep it on top followed by i want to keep cards as cards can have offers as well for net banking as multiple clicks are involved uh, i feel the dropage can be high hence i want to keep it below as the last option so this is how you would be able to uh, order the different payment method and on preview on clicking on preview you would be able to see that the same changes have got reflected as well now if you have a particular condition like if you want to uh, display payment method based on the order amount we have got you covered that uh, there as well here there is an option called add a condition where based on the amount or the different parameter you can set a condition so for this example i am just setting the condition as if the amount is lesser than uh, say 100 uh, i want to display only upi so i configure amount here and keep the value as 100 and then click on set output now for this if condition which you have set now you need to disable all the payment methods other than upi so i have disabled everything i need to apply changes similarly if it is if the amount is greater than 100 that is the else condition uh, i want to keep uh, all the options enabled so it is a default output option and i am applying the changes now let's go to the feature section that is there as part of the control module under the feature section you would be able to see the additional features that are present with jespay based on your requirement you can enable or disable it now let's go back to our design page right now we have designed a payment page that blends beautifully with the website which we have chosen for reference we'll have to see now as in how we would be able to make those changes reflected on the application as well so for the for that you need to save the changes first after saving you need to create a release ticket so the ticket is getting created and uh, an auto approval of your ticket is happening so once the tickets are approved uh, the platforms are displayed where you can choose on which all platform you want these changes to get reflected i'm choosing android ios and web after clicking on proceed the changes are getting pushed and as soon as the changes are released uh, you would get a message as the changes are pushed so after clicking on proceed you would land back to the previous screen where you can see that under release with the current uh, time stamp the changes has been released 100% now if you want to make any further changes or want to do few more customization you can click on update or view design on this you can go through the options that are available similar to how we have 
uh, similar to how, how I had explained so far, you can make the changes, save it, and then create the release again. With this, we have come to the end of the session. Now let's see how the final output is looking. There are countless customizations that are possible with JustPay Studio. We have barely scratched the surface in this video as the aim was to get you started with it. You can explore the different options that are available and design a payment page that suits your requirement. I recommend you to watch the other videos in the series where we take in depth using the examples of our current merchant. Thanks for watching this video and have a nice day.